I have always looked up to Francis because he has always been more than just a sibling to me. He's been my hero, my inspiration. People need to understand that Francis has significant responsibilities towards his entire family. He serves as a father figure to us. He is one of the first people we will always address whenever a situation arises. He is giving us opportunities he never had. Because he's fighting for something bigger than boxing, he fights for those who still dream that something is possible, for all those who are still on the way to becoming whatever they want to become. He is my guiding light. He has shown me that with dedication, resilience, and unwavering faith in oneself, anything is possible. And for that, I always look up to him. It's about building a strong mind and body to navigate life challenges. Through discipline, I am reshaping not only my body, but also my mindset, inching closer to the best version of myself. We have been through worst things so far. Boxing is a discipline, a sport. I'm not afraid of ever losing in life. So I am not afraid of ever losing in boxing. Not with a team like this. Not when Francis is fighting. some African guy who just wanted to immigrate because they want a better life. When they tried to find the road to Europe, they treat them like slaves. I saw this on TV, I saw this on social media, and it breaks my heart. Because I was an immigrant also, I understand. Francis, what do you want to tell people who are still trying to get You know, I believe that maybe uh, 10 years from now, the immigration will not be what it is today. And I'm very happy about that because seeing people risking their life uh, to go to Europe, to immigrate in Europe, and then uh, being treated as being slave, enslaved uh, along the way, and those who uh, escape will still get in Europe and be mistreated. The, those who get lost along the way, those who die, uh, is it worth it, right? having a lot of opportunity to, for those kids, for those people that are just uh, desperately looking for a job, for a better life. Africa will uh, soon uh, have a lot of uh, more opportunity for them to attract them, to make them stay and not have to live their life because Africa is the future. My name is Julia Shelley. Uh, my company is Friendship at Home. I'm based in San Diego, California, and I'm here to cook for Francis. A lot of proteins, of course. Fats are important, healthy fats, avocado, you know, like. Now we just reduced the portions a little bit compared to the first week because we wanted to be feel lighter. Uh, it didn't have a special weight, like, uh, but he just wanted to feel lighter, so we go, we go lighter. No butter or stuff like that, our own place. Like cream, coconut cream or almond milk. Um, I try to keep it really basic and not too much fat, yeah. And he's happy. He's a happy monster. <laughs> Jusqu'ici, tout avance bien. On fait les entraînements matin, soir. Or, on se repose le dimanche. Et des petites escales au retour d'entraînement, on visionne, on joue aux cartes. He, he said if he fall in the hole right now, then he's a fuck. He's a fuck. I didn't touch. Yes. He played the boy. He came. Yes. Yes. No, no. Since the beginning, he's been just giving up. <laughs> <laughs> la, la confiance avec laquelle le gars a misé. If you come here, you play safe, you will touch his ball, but you will get inside. 
Okay, okay, if the new beer, what will happen? New beer first, then what? Then I carry it, then I carry it. I'll confirm there. You confirm there? Okay, here. You need to be smooth. How are you sitting in me? Sending the basketball zoom. Even if I miss, you will not do anything. Okay. Bravo! On se sent chez nous. On ne se sent pas. On ne se sent pas loin de Cameroun. Bon, déjà, quand on, va, quand on souhaite se divertir de l'extérieur et avoir un plus grand milieu, on s'y rend à la piscine. Ah bon. Et quand on s'y rend, il n'y a, a aucune règle. On peut se décider de. Soit on fait la course. Dans une course, puisque nous étions trois, je ne voudrais pas être le dernier. En fait, je souhaitais même être le premier. En fait, je donnais le plus fort de moi. On se bat de, de, de faire avec ce qu'on a. Même si on ne sait pas faire, on essaie. Parce que c'est ce qu'il dit le plus souvent. Improviser. We are going to the gym called Arena. So today is Saturday. The last training section is going to be like um, strength and conditioning. More so like conditioning, you know, the last burnout before the rest tomorrow Sunday. This camp, Francis came into it great shape. He kept up with his road work. He's just way ahead of the game, which is great for all of us. We've had, had our bumps and bruises. It's normal fight camp, that's what happens. But with that, it just helped us stay ahead and everything. And so we just changed a little bit of stuff. He's hitting all his goals. And every week he just continues to set personal records and all our little conditioning tests. And it's just something that he really enjoys to do and pushes himself. You are an Arena Fitness Innovation. We are super proud and happy to have the King of Africa here in our cup. Uh, Francis Nagano, uh, Cameroon Lion, here in our gym. His first few weeks of camp were really amazing. Like, he just looked like such a better boxer. I'm not a boxing coach or anything, but in the ring, he would look so more comfortable. He was just throwing so many different combos, just a better all-around boxer. And he came in, and I think that has a lot to do with him staying in shape, too. So he had to worry about getting tired. He could really listen to his coaches and everything like that. So that helped us a lot going forward in this camp. I liked his composure much better today and his defensive awareness for the most part. Um, the first session, he was a little more careless and got more sloppier at times. This time, he kept his mind to be cleaner and sharper technically. What do you think, John? Yeah, I'm, I'm agree with you. Today, he could he, he, he do a good, uh, good sparring, he do a good thing, a uh, really, really good defense, okay, but, and good movement with his feet work. He's so fucking effective at it, yeah. it's, it's not really, yeah. it don't make sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Great work, thank you guys. He's getting pushed, but he's getting pushed the right way, so I really appreciate you guys. He move a lot, or the EV weight is not easy, and him, he look like uh, Canelo. Yeah. No, no Lomachenko, Lomachenko. Yeah. <laughs> More Lomachenko. Il a euh, un moral d'acier, comme on dit souvent. À propos du combat du 8 mars, c'est un jour très excitant. Et vu ce qu'on a eu à faire jusqu'ici, je crois qu'on y va pour braver, on y va pour choquer le monde. Je crois qu'on y va la voir pour gagner. After putting, um, been putting all the work during um, what seven seven weeks now? Yeah, six to seven weeks now. You know, we get more tired by the end of the week, but you know, we have to keep pushing and no leave, no left any stone unturned. This should this should be the the chamber. So we have the the machine there. I guess this should, this should be the chamber. He has to enter in this. Mm -hmm. 
You have the doctor, I am the professor. <laughs> yeah, the expert in setting one of these up who's never set one up before. So we'll see. So that's for use with a mask. Look, this is my house in Vegas. And then, look, this is my bed. I have one right now. <laughs> this is life. That's life, eh? Yeah. I have one on my bed. Open it. Oh, is that dwarf? That button. Doom. Yeah, we're gonna go to the PFL tonight and I think it's gonna be too late. I really need to rest. I like, it's a little stressful for me, but at the meantime, it's very excited to have to see all those, um, all those fight, basically the heavyweight division. There is a lot of, um, a lot of noise around it as for my potential opening for whenever I return to MMA. Thank you. My first time here. This place is beautiful. My first time. Yeah. Amazing. I gotta come back and watch you fight more. I'm from here now. I'm from here now. Now I heard the championship ring was actually your idea. Is that something you want to be? The super ring. So why was that idea? Do you? Are you looking to get one yourself? Yeah, be, because um, you know, unlike other sports, uh, they walk around with your with your ring. But uh, us fighters, you can walk around all the time with a big, gigantic belt. Why you not? Know? <laughs> I think it's quite heavy. It can fit in your pants. In your dream, go oh, fucking fat. Come on, kids. <laughs> Whenever I return to MMA, which might be this year, or I don't know. From tonight, I will have like my a, a idea of who I will fight if I'm, uh, when I go back to MMA. You should have got them to knock him here. Make this fight, let's make this fight happen, then go home. Go alive. Parlant de ceux du côté de Batier, je pense que la fondation sera remplie comme d'habitude. Mais ce serait encore plus particulier cette fois. Pourquoi Parce que ça se fait le 10 mars. Alors, je pense que le 10 mars va au côté de Batier et se fera à la fondation France Gambo. Quand tu dis à un enfant, euh, Francis, il fait référence qu'à Francis Ngano. En fait, quand un enfant, un enfant ne sait pas dire tonton Francis, parce que pour lui, Francis Ngannou, c'est déjà tout s'accumuler avec tout du respect. Francis Ngannou, pour un enfant à bâtir, c'est une marque. Parce que tu vois facilement une petite de 5 ans qui dit Francis Ngannou. En fait, c'est une marque.
vu ce que Francis a dit, l'impact que Francis donne aux jeunes. Si je parle du côté de Bati, je serais même beaucoup très restreint. Pourquoi Parce que euh, les, gens, euh, les gens se disaient comment est-ce qu'on peut quitter d'une famille aussi pauvre pour devenir champion du monde. Là, ça permet à certains jeunes qui vivent dans une situation précaire de comprendre que même eux, ils peuvent. Et du coup, à partir de ce moment, quand ils s'y mettent, ils se mettent pour de vrai. Ils se mettent dans l'espoir que demain, ils pourront être le second Francis Gangway, peut-être même plus.